Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick organized Christmas video. I wanted to get this video done on Monday and have it up for you guys on Monday, but it just didn't happen. I'm going to try to get these up on Sunday, Mondays. I just don't know how it's gonna happen. As we speak right now, I am home trying to like unpack from the day, make some banana bread, um, load the dishwasher. So you guys are gonna kind of do like my afternoon schedule with me while I talk. So this week, so what I'm doing for Christmas, Christmas is I'm essentially pulling a little bit from every aspect of it. So um, the holiday, grand plan I think was more like it's you're basically adding an organizing prepping and cleaning component to every week so last week was like the you know paperwork week for me I'm gonna open my planner real quick <laughs> yeah I was planning a paperwork week for one aspect of the organized Christmas um, where you are like decluttering paperwork, filing a system that works. I have a system that works, so I didn't really have to like do much for this. Um, but I did want to get my planner together, which was part of it, um, and go from there. So, uh, I also pick like basically one room a week that I'm focusing on. So for me, this last week, I made it a point to get the front entryway done for fall Halloween. I have a mix of fall and Halloween out there. We had someone in our neighborhood put up their skeleton and everyone just went full blown Halloween. Um, so I kind of have a little mix of both, but that was what I wanted to do. We pressure washed both decks. We took everything off. Um, our plants are still alive and thriving here because it's still very hot in Georgia and it will be throughout the um, fall season to be honest so you know that was something that I wanted to do and I'll try to insert a little clip of that at the end here I decorated for fall which you should see in a video very soon um, and then I started working on gifts for me I worked on our budget I thought of all the things and how I wanted to spend money and how I wanted to allocate our budget so we are kind of like in a weird space right now um we are really missing going to florida we like to travel um so if we do not take a trip we will be setting aside money for a trip um you know as part of our christmas present you know maybe to do in like february or april so that is a huge aspect of our christmas budget um that I have a good amount of Christmas decorations, but I wanted to add to the outside. I wanted to make my rooms feel cohesive. I like having my rooms to have a theme. So my office has like a Grinch, Walt Disney World travel theme. Our um, dining room is more of like a silvery gold, I think is what I did last year. It's checkered in the kitchen. <coughs> it's checkered in the kitchen in the living room. Um, <clears throat> my room has a theme. I did not do the kids' rooms last year. I don't think I'm going to. I will probably decorate the kids' bathroom, decorate this bathroom. <clears throat> so I know that I will need some more, or I want more decor. But also balancing, do I want a lot of decor or do I want to go on vacation again? So that was something that I thought about. <clears throat> My planning time will be on Sundays or Mondays, like I said. Um, establish a budget, start saving Christmas cash, master gift list. So I put everything that I have. I'm not starting a master gift list until after Casey and Ellie's birthdays, which are the first and the fourth of October. Then I will go from there. I sent my children notes. You can, if you have an iPhone, you can go into your notes app. If you go into your notes app, you can make a note, a new note like this, 
And if you click here, <clears throat> no, maybe not, hold on. X. How did I do it? Done. Um, I think if we send it that way now. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, so I just made my new note, gets, and then you're gonna select here. Um, I don't know how the heck I did that. My best friend walked me through this, so that's why I don't know how. But essentially, I'll try to, like, Casey can add stuff back and forth. I don't know if you can see that or not, but he's been adding stuff. I can see it, we go back and forth. I get updated whenever he adds stuff to it. So that's how the kids are doing their Christmas list this year. So it's not like everything's from Amazon or whatever. I have started our, um, our plan for like how I'm going to do uh, the wrap game. So every week I'm buying a $5 gift card from different stores. I've gotten a Barnes and Noble, Marshalls, Target, Walmart. I'm also buying a $5 uh, Target gift card or Walmart gift card or Amazon gift card every time, every week when we go out, I buy one or two of those and I have those like on a list here. So like I need a teacher gift card, I need a wrap gift card. And I put how many I need to buy this week to or how many to have on hand total out of how many I need. I did that for the teachers and the wraps for September. I did it, um, through the second week of October and then Costco teacher will be, I buy for like the special teachers. I buy lint chocolates and Toblerone bars and we give those to them. I'm still keeping the wrap gift card up all the way until Christmas. Um, oh my God, it's four, four, four. So, um, yeah, like I said, the teacher gifts, I have a plan of the saran wrap game I made a plan of I'm gonna buy the $5 gift cards and I'll buy some fun objects. And then one weekend we'll all go shopping like when we do, when the kids go do their like secret Santa stuff. And I want the kids to buy some stuff because Aubrey had a fun time last year like buying some like random gag things for the saran wrap. And the kids really, really like that. And I would like to be able to take my time and wrap it up so that like it's a little bit harder. Although like Aubrey had a really easy time with it. And I don't remember who else, but Casey had a really hard time with it. We'll have to do something with Aubrey because she could just really get it done quicker than anyone else can. She can also roll doubles really easily. So we'll find a way to make it a little bit more fair, but that's my plan for that. The kids gift exchange, that's gonna be another major way that they get their gifts. I can't decide if I wanna have them all buy a gift for each other or just have their person. They kind of like doing the person because they can get them better stuff, but again, we'll see. But the budget is the same no matter what. It's just a matter of, are they gonna buy three little gifts for their siblings? Or are they gonna buy one big gift for a sibling member? I said decorations. I definitely need some wrapping supplies. I put that on there. All the kids have obviously a wish list. Again, if we go to Disney, then they'll just get you know some things from Santa. They'll get a few things from us before we leave. It won't be as big, but even if we don't get to go to Florida, for Christmas that I will still be putting aside money for a trip that's gonna be part of their Christmas present that we'll eventually take. So it's just not gonna be a big Christmas. We just don't have the wants, needs, wish lists here. And the kids are getting at the ages that they wanna start doing like competitive sports teams and things like that. So that means we have to pull down on these big Christmases that we do. And that's just part of it. Um, I would like to get my aunt and uncle something for Christmas, they've always sent my kids birthday presents and Christmas presents, so I would like to get them just a small gift card. I have my mom, my brother, um, my best friend and her husband, Jeff, the kids' teachers. I have the savings plan of what I wanna do. You know, I already have the teacher's gifts and things like that, so I just gotta go through and figure out how I'm going to do it. I put like when I get paid, when Jeff gets paid, things like that. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna share numbers because that makes people go crazy, but you know, it is what it is. So now it's calendar and creativity week. So I will be going through and putting in things that we want to do, go through craft areas. I don't craft, so it's not anything that I do. Um, but you know, if you are a crafty person, it says this is the weekend to do that. Make your seasonal calendar, plan when you're going to be traveling, start idea files, which I already have with those notes. I, I wish I could remember how I made those notes shareable, but literally I have one with all the kids. Um, Casey, 
and Ellie so far are the only ones that have put stuff on it, but it'll be helpful. I don't have, yours won't go through then. Um, review the master gift list, make a thing of gifts to make, which I'm not going to do. I decided that I'm not going to be making gifts for my coworkers this year or buying them anything. I want to go to Florida. I want to go to Disney. I want to go to Universal. Um, we're supposed to be going to Disney land. If Trevor graduates this year, the kids want to take a cruise. Like I'm just not buying unnecessary things that I don't necessarily need to buy. Um, so I will be going through and making like our calendar of when we're off, what we'll be doing. Um, a lot of it will depend on like how my uncle is doing, if my mom can come or not. Um, if my uncle is still alive, we will probably go and do some sort of like maybe like a take out and give her some Christmas gifts. Maybe even have one time to decorate her house for Christmas so she doesn't get, cause I know my mom is very lonely and very sad and down right now, but I just don't have the time to allot to her that she needs on a regular basis. But maybe for the holidays, we can try to make it a little bit, you know, more holiday-ish around there for her. But that is my plan. Sorry it is so late. As for cleaning, the only thing that I'm going to work on this week is I have a fall break. So I'm going to work on my foyer, making sure the walls are clean, things like that. And I may do some other areas around it, but I did the entryway last week. I'm gonna work on the foyer this week and then we'll just keep going on that path. I also, especially where grocery prices are as high as they are, I do want to start thinking of the things I can buy for Thanksgiving, Christmas, baking, all of that, and just add a thing or two to my grocery trip each week and have a special box for it. I'll have it under my stairs like I did last year. And then I have all of the like candies, treats, everything ready to go. So it's not like, oh, I need this and the stores are sold out because their supply chain issues or whatever. So that's something that's major on my list this week as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, it's kind of a weird video. I started doing dishes and I wanted to cook bread, but I just didn't have a chance to do it. So. That is my organized Christmas video for this week, and I will see you guys hopefully next Monday.